Okay, so I've decided to go over very quickly this uh, 80s um, kind of uh, rock, rock, 80s pop mix. So here are the raw stems. So very dry, there's not a lot of room to it, but it still sounds, you know, there's still a bit of room, uh, but not much. So into the actual project, um, I've got a superior drummer here, the UK pop, uh, uh, Easy X. So this is actually an Easy X uh, expansion, but you can get the Easy X expansions within superior drummer, but not the other way around. You can't get superior drummer expansions inside of Easy Drummer uh, because for obvious reasons, then they'd lose sales. So, basically, Gretsch Round Badge for the kick, uh, Yamaha Maple Custom Absolute for the snare, uh, Zildjian K's for the, uh, yeah, for all of the um, uh, snares for the symbol of the snare, uh, Gretsch Round Badge um, toms. So I'll start with the kick. Uh, you just got Saturn on the kick, this little um, kind of uh, split it up five bands and then I distort it this is a saturated by the way by fifth tab filter I distort it just where it starts to clip but then bring it back a bit so it's just literally bringing out the dynamics in it a bit more and it's kind of sustaining and making the whole thing a lot fatter so this is without with without with so you can hear the difference. It just makes it a lot fatter, basically. Then you've got a sub kick here. Let's probably actually go over the channels that I'm using. So I'm using kick, kick sub, top snare, bottom snare, hi hats, uh, tom close mics. There's a clap mic. There's a stomp mic, uh, and overheads. And then there's a whole bunch of extra uh, overhead and ambience mics, of which all I'm using. So over overhead ribbon one and two, ambience close far mono one two and three. I've got mono one panned all the way to the right, all the way to the yes left no yes left and then the other one panned all the way to the right and then ambience mono three is panned in the center uh, so yeah um, so for the yes then we've got a sub kick and then together without the sub kick just the sub kick. So onto the snare. Snare's got a bit of compression. Um, so I, I ended up doing reverb and stuff in the master track, which I'll get into in a sec. Um, sounds bad, but it works. Um, so you got this SSL compressor. And one of my favorites at the minute is this compressor for um, snares, usually. But you can use it everywhere, honestly. So basically what it's doing is... Um, it's compressing the uh, the kind of middle bit of the kick. So you've got the tail of the kick and then the middle bit of the kick. And it's just kind of compressing that. And obviously we do that with a slower attack time and a, a kind of in the middle uh, release time. Uh, the threshold is way down um, and ratio is actually quite soft. But it makes a big difference when the threshold is that far down. So without the compressor. With, without, so you can kind of hear it just it just very slightly makes it a little bit edgier, and you can hear it in the mix. You can't so much on its own because that's the way that stuff works. This is the bottom mics, and I notoriously hate bottom mics, so I'm just going to ignore that. And um, then there's a, a hi hat with a, a slap back delay. I've got the mix at 37%, which is the mix between the raw signal and the process signal. Style is on ping pong, so it's kind of uh, split between the left and right channels. The delay left and right is set in milliseconds, and it's just the fastest it can get. I just wanted a slapback delay, and that was it. Uh, feedback is at 70%. Uh, the width is at 100%. Um, and that's that. Then there's this clap sound, 
which has Valhalla, Valhalla's, Valhalla's, whatever, has this room plugin on it. Uh, then here we have um, this. Um, what is this? Oh yeah, this this is overhead. Sorry. Um, and basically, what's going on here is uh, sorry, give me a sec. Uh, I'm com no, I'm not compressing. I'm just got a um, EQ on it, removing some of the or basically all the lows because the kick was just boomy, and also getting rid of some of the snare because the snare was very boomy as well. Then all of the ambience mics, which I just leveled and panned. Finally, we have a um, parallel compression kind of place. So this is raw compression. Oh yes, parallel compression. I haven't actually explained this yet, but basically, um, you're compressing just the start, uh, like the, you know, I guess I guess it's like the just just after the start you're compressing. So usually quite a low threshold, um, usually a very fast release and a quite slow attack, and quite heavily compressed. Once again, just kind of getting rid of some of the, the low mids from the snare. Uh, so this is without the compressor. And with. Sorry. Without. With. And I'm with the EQ. And without, with. So that's the drum mix effects wise. This is probably the biggest part of the mix, which is the mastering side of things. So the first thing is a vinyl uh, channel from uh, uh, Waves. This is Abbey Road's uh, vinyl uh, plugin. This is with, and without. Well, you can check this little green button if the if the uh, button is grey, then that means off. So I don't have to keep saying on off. So it's just kind of compressing down a little bit, adding this kind of crackle in the background, and it's also simulating this kind of um, vinyl uh, player. I got a bit of a wow going on, so kind of uh, modulating between left and right. I've taken away a bit of phase distortion here, uh, which is off, never mind. Um, rising crackle up a little bit, uh, drivers all the way down, uh, using a uh, uh, print generation, which I have no idea what, what does, but there's something to look into, I guess. Although this say it says waves mastering, this is actually Ozotope's um, Dynamics um, plugin. It's ju it's just a compressor, that's all. Just to kind of take the edge off of the snare, because it was just kind of coming out a little bit too much, I guess. And then finally you have this uh, delay, which is probably the biggest part of this mix. Uh, it's just a tape delay, 12.4% mix, uh, not anymore, um, and then delay right and left are both at 25 milliseconds, 27 feedback, 46 width, the drivers all the way up, ages all the way up, sizes all the way up, and there you go. And that's the mix. Um, if I go to SoundCloud to do a quick... A B comparison uh, very quickly. Then I can go to uh, I don't know how to use this software. Uh, Firefox. I'm looking for Firefox. Firefox. There it is. Uh, so this is processed. Sorry, it's loading. Processed. Buffering. 
and then vol. So although it's kind of sub subtle, it's also very much not subtle. Um, it's all to do with the master and just a general kind of very slight moves with like uh, the kick and the snare and the way that things attack and the high mids as well. Uh, you've got to control the high mids and also the low mids and the bass and all of it. It's all it's all a pain. Uh, but yeah, that was um, <coughs> this uh, 80s mix. And there you go.